In translation, we also end up with the same orientation. But it's as if we moved, we just grabbed our triangle or any shape and slid it. It's as if this shape was slid along a straight line in any direction. And notice this can be expressed as a first horizontal movement and then a vertical movement. So let's construct a new triangle. And we're going to translate this triangle. And let's say we're going to translate we're going to take this triangle and we're going to move it there we go let's move it this way Let's hope that my technology actually works, because that does tend to help. Okay, let's try something else real quick. Ah, that will help. Okay, so I have what's called a vector. I have an arrow that's pointing in a direction. and it has a certain length from G to H. I'm going to translate my triangle across that length. So notice, as I move, the length of my vector determines how far my triangle is away from its image, and the direction of the vector tells me the, the direction that my image is in. So it's easier to set the vector to start on a point. And then we notice that it always stays with that point of the image. But so here's a translation straight down, a translation to the right, a translation above, translation to the left, and then we have a translation that is both down and to the right. But we can see that no matter where we put our image, it can fit right back on top of our original, so they have the same orientation. And that it's just as if we slid this across a straight line. and that's translation. So the only one that has a flipped orientation is reflection. And that would mean that if we wanted to stack our, Im our original image and the reflected image on top of one another, we would have to actually pick up one of the shapes and flip it over so that they stack right on top of one another. That doesn't happen with rotation and translation because their orientations stay the same. Okay, example one, identifying transformations. So I want you to tell me whether each transformation is a reflection, a rotation, or a translation. Take a moment. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And here's the third. Hopefully you see that B is a reflection. that A is a rotation, 